Welcome to the Perfect Painter Tool Review. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and put your notification bell on off. Um, today, got a quick video. Hopefully it's quick. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to paint stained trim. It's not as easy as just throwing some paint on there. If you want to do a good job, well, that light is... Okay, if you want to do a good job and have it last for the customer, um, I'm going to show you the, the way you have to do it. The easiest, best, and fastest way to do it. It's not as fast as just throwing paint on it, but that's going to peel off because you have a, coat, a polyurethane over top of this stain. You can't really, you can paint it if you want to, but you're going to get stuff like this happening. This was just painted right over. I can see the polyurethane that peels off event at some point. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to get it done the right way. Now it's not necessarily a fast process. So make sure you charge accordingly. This was a $40 corner cat Ryobi sander. This is all you need. You can get a Milwaukee or something if you want. Of course they're better. But this works just fine. Um, I do recommend getting one that has a dust collection system, though. But you got to sand off all this polyurethane first on everything. Every spot of it. You see how I got it here. You're not trying to necessarily get the stain off. That'll cover with the next step. But you have to get this polyurethane off of here. So that's step one. After you do that, you're going to want to kill this with oil base. Don't use no latex base. I mean, I guess you can. Like a 1-2-3 primer is called. Or a Zenzer maybe. Alcohol base. Something like that. But I'm going to be using spray kill. Oil base. called Terminator. It's like $30 a case for six of them at Sherwin-Williams. So what I'll do is after I get it all sanded, tape everything off nice and tight, put plastic under this, peel this part up, cover the window with plastic, cover your everything. And you take that spray kills after it's sanded. I didn't sand this one yet. And you spray kills everything. That's the fastest way to do it. This is the right way to do it. You don't want to just throw paint on this stuff. Okay? I mean, if you don't care about your reputation as a painter, go ahead and just throw paint on it. But this is the right way to do it. Alright, once you're finished sanding, it's going to look like so. Alright, like I say, you're just trying to get that polyurethane off. Okay. Before you sand, don't do like I did on this window. You can, If you can see it, I scuffed up this a little bit. I should have taped this first. I got in a hurry. I taped this window first. Okay, I'm in the process of sanding it now. Tape it up first, like, like this. Cover every, all the metal. Okay, so that your sander doesn't scuff it up. Then, after you're finished sanding, put your plastic. Okay, peel back your tape a little bit. And stuff your plastic in there, cover the whole window. Do not put the plastic up before you sand, or you're going to get sand dust all over the plastic. Then when you prime it, it's going to get on your primer. Okay? Once you got your plastic up, take your spray kill. Spray a nice, even coat over everything. Remember, this will be covered. You want to use oil base or alcohol base. I mean, you can use the roll-on stuff. I personally like the spray. Uh, you want to use oil base or alcohol base so nothing bleeds through. You want to get a nice, good seal on it, and it'll stop anything from bleeding through the paint latex won't work uh, that one two three primer may work 
but I don't recommend it. Okay, and once I get everything primed, I'll show you what it'll look like. Alright, and when you're done with your spray kills, it should look like this. I don't know if you can see because of the light, but... Okay, once this dries, then you got to caulk everything in. Right? Caulk in after you do your kills in, not before. Caulk everything in. After you caulk everything in and that dries, put on your first coat. After your first coat dries 100% dry, just lightly sand everything. Lightly sand with a fine sandpaper, 120 or 220, something like that. Lightly sand just to get it nice and smooth. Of course, you got to fill in your putty holes before your first coat of paint. Also, when you do your caulking. And then after you lightly sand everything, do your final coat of paint. And you'll be finished. You'll have a nice, clean looking trim that will last. We took off the polyurethane. So this primer is getting to the bare wood now. It's going to soak in there and it's going to stick. And it's going to stay. Alright. That is how you properly paint stained polyurethane trim. Like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video.